In this lesson, we're going to learn about a tool called Equalizer. With this tool, you can adjust the frequencies of your audio and change them in the way you'd like. By the end of this lesson, you will know how to use this tool and apply it to different situations. Let's get started. I have imported some videos here that contain different types of audio. In this video, we have someone pouring soil into this cup. There is no vocals, meaning that no one is speaking in this video, but we're getting some nice sounds of the bottle, the soil pouring into the bottle, and that is what we're going to work with. With this audio, we're just working with the low tones, trying to get rid of the background noise. In the second video, we have some vocals. Again, we have the background noise, which is the wind. We need to get rid of that in order to hear what the child is saying. In another video, we have no vocals again, but we have a lot of background noise. And in the final video, we have clear vocals. Uh -oh. So we're going to see how the equalizer can help us in these four situations. Let's go ahead and work with this video first. I'm going to select this uh, video track, head over here and adjust the height to big. So we can see the sound waves down here. Now let's double click on this video head over to audio and then equalizer. With the equalizer tool, you can change the frequencies of your audios. We have some presets over here and let's see what happens when we change this to low bass. Let's play this back. So notice how right now we're getting more of that background noise than the clear audio that we have in front of us. So the sound of the soil, the plastics, and all that. Now, the reason why this happened is because we chose low bass. So this is working with the low tones, which is your background noise. Basically, each of these work with different frequencies. And if you wanna get started, you could take a look at these presets. Let's try uh, hard rock. So now the background noise has been reduced and we're getting more of this crinkly sound of the plastic. So those were the presets. You can also head over to default so that nothing is changed in your frequencies, but you could head over to custom to work with the frequencies yourself. So now we can customize our equalizer. We have 10 sliders right here. Anything that's towards the left is the low tones. Anything that's towards the right is the high tones. And the stuff in the middle are the mid tones. Low tones are things that are faded in your video. So that could be wind, people talking in the far distance, maybe some other sounds that are just not close enough to the microphone. The high tones are the stuff that are the closest to the microphone. So if you're speaking in front of a microphone, your voice is a high tone and not a low tone because you're closer to the microphone. First, let's take a look at how these affect these sliders. Classic. You can see we got a little bit of change. Let's try low bass, the one we tried first. So the low tones are higher now. The high tones are lower. So it just brought up the low tones and it brought down the high tones. Let's try rock and roll. This time we have increased our high tone and left the other ones to be rather normal. We got a little curve here, you can see. Let's try hard rock. You can see how the numbers have changed. If you want a smooth result, then you're looking to create a smooth curve. Let's see how that works with an audio example. Let's drag this audio to our timeline, double click, custom equalizer. Now this song contains a lot of high tones. Let's listen to it. The 
let's see what happens when I drag all of the high tones down and bring the low tones up. Hit OK. So notice how the high pitched tones, which was forming most of the music, are now really low and we can barely hear them. And instead, we're just hearing the bass, which was really loud. So that's how the sliders can affect your audio. Now let's go back to our video examples and take a look at the equalizer further. Let's jump into our first example, which was this clip. My goal here is to increase the volume of the uh, plastic and the soil and get rid of the background noise that is the wind, the cars in the back and all that. Double click on your video, head over to Equalizer, Custom, and we need to create a curve with these sliders. Let's increase the high tones and just work with these. I'm lowering these as well. Remember, these are the cars and the wind and all that. So you want to make sure you are lowering everything to create a nice curve. Let's hit OK. So now I can barely hear those cars in the back. You can always listen to your video and just go back to it to see if you need to make any other changes. So I brought the original video up here so we can compare and see how it changed. This was before. This is after. So the background noise has been lowered. I can go back in here now that I have listened to my video, custom, and lower the low tones even more. Remember to always make a curve to get a smoother effect. Let's listen. This is what we get. We got rid of those background noise even more. Let's compare it to the original. I'm going to increase the volume so we can tell. This was before. This is after. Before. After. So we got rid of those uh, distant car noises and, and the wind that is getting caught up in the microphone. So this was one example. We didn't have any vocals. We just had these sounds of objects and a lot of background noise. Let's try our next example. All right, again, I'm going to grab this bit, increase the volume. So this is our clip. Now we need to, again, get rid of the background noise. Double click on your video. And this time, let's try it with the denoise. So we learned about the denoise, it removes background noise, but we also learned that sometimes it distorts the vocals in your video. Let's try it with this setting. So the background noise is still there. I can increase this to mid. So it removed the wind noises, but it also distorted the vocals. This was before. This is after. So what I need to do is to head over to Equalizer and just bring up the high tones, which is the vocals in this case. Make a curve as always. If you'd like, you can go ahead and reduce this. If you found that the denoise left out a little bit of those background uh, audio. Hit OK. Let's listen. All right, and there we go. I'm not getting the wind sound, but just the vocals of the children. This was before. This is after. 
I fixed this audio, now let's move on to another example. In our third example, we have clear vocals, and because it's indoors, we're not getting any extra sounds. Let's listen to the audio. Hey, Siri. Hey, Siri. So we have some background noise, but I could easily fix that with the equalizer tool. Double click on your video. And again, I want to keep the high tones because those are the vocals and I want to reduce the low tones. Drag the sliders up and create a curve as you move towards the left. There we go. Let's listen. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. This was before. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. And this is after. Hey Siri. So I need to work with the high tones a little bit more. All right, let's give it a listen. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. And now I have isolated the high tones of my model or the person in the video. And now let's listen to the before. Hey Siri. So we got rid of those background noise just by using the equalizer tool. Let's hit okay. And look at our final example. For our third video, we have this. So we don't have any vocals, but we have a, a lot of background noise, actually. There's people talking, there's the sound of the water, and there is this alarm going off. So let's try to pair the presets with denoise. Let's not use the custom window this time and see what happens. I will use pop because if we go over here, you can see that it balances out the high tones and the low tones and instead brings up the mid tones. I'm going to hit OK. Let's pair this with denoise on this setting. Hit OK and now let's listen to this. This was before. This is after. So I just have the bells. I do have some uh, distortion in the back, but you could always go back in the custom tab right here. Maybe lower the low tones again and just create your own curve. If you saw that the preset was not doing a good job. There we go, that's better. We're not getting that hissing sound as much. And now let's hit OK. So those were four situations where you can use the equalizer tool. If you'd like, you can always take a look at the audio frequency chart that you can find on the internet. You can take a look at the range here. You can see we have from 20 to 20K. If you go back to equalizer, you can see we have from 31 to 16K. So if you were confused as to which one I'm supposed to work with, you can take a look at here. So in Filmora, it's from this point until about here. And then you can see which one is going closer to the treble, which one is going closer to the bass. You can refer to these charts if you were a little confused or head over to Google to find different types of charts. But the best way to learn the equalizer tool is to practice with it because only through trial and error can you learn the right uh, settings for your audio. So you just need to practice with the equalizer and see what works best for your audio. And now we know how to use the audio window completely. We learned all about pitch, fades, volume, denoise, ducking, and equalizer. Now all that's left to do is for you to practice with these and master audio editing through your practice. I hope you guys enjoyed this lesson. Let's move on to the next one.